Creating cinematic B-roll type videos is easy with the CapCut video editor, and that is why I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips on how to get that Hollywood style. Let's jump into it. Editing tip number one, I'm gonna be showing you how to add those black bars onto your video. So here I am within CapCut, I have this video of me just walking uh, up to this bridge with my phone, and how we add those black bars is you actually wanna go under format, Click on that, and as you can see, we're on 16 by nine, which is the standard for most like YouTube videos and things like that. But what we wanna do is change it to two by 35 by one. What this will do is when we click on this, you'll notice how it stretches it out. What that'll actually do is when you export it to YouTube, it's going to give it that cinematic black bar look. Now, even though you can't see the black bars on the top and the bottom, they are there. But what we do need to do is click on this clip and make sure it takes up the full screen. So I'm just gonna zoom up there. And then we have the ability to choose what's gonna be in that black bar area by scrolling up or scrolling down. So you really have some flexibility of what you want to be in those black bars versus just kind of cropping the video in. So now when we zoom in and later when we export, we're gonna have those awesome cinematic bars. Cinematic editing tip number two is color grading and filters. Now this is actually super important because how you color grade and what filter you put on your video is going to dramatically affect how people feel about what they're watching. For example, if we look at the clip I have on here, let's say I'm trying to make a scary video and it's very dramatic and intense. Looking at this video, this does not look intense. This looks happy, it's bright, it's vivid, the colors are popping. This is not the makings of a intense or serious or scary video. So the way we color grade this will actually affect how people feel when they watch our video. So for example, I might go to filters first and let's go to movies and let's choose something like Dunkirk. So if you click on that, okay, now it's a lot more intense, it's a little darker. So I can also affect it here by pulling on this knob. So we'll do about there. I'm gonna click the check mark and then we're gonna open up the adjust button here. And now what we're gonna do automatically is take this saturation and turn it down. There we go. We went from happy to intense and dark. And then we wanna do is click on contrast over here. We can affect this. And that is going to affect how our video looks. We went from happy to, okay, this is looking pretty intense. This looks like there could be something scary here. So when choosing what filters to apply, what settings down here do I even click on? You need to first start with, what am I trying to make someone feel? What am I trying to communicate? Am I trying to make a happy film about a town? Or am I trying to show something intense, sadness, anger? What is the emotion I'm trying to express with my videos? I don't wanna to talk too long on this, but hopefully that gives you some ideas as to what you should really be adjusting in this section. Cinematic editing tip number three is to use tilt within your videos. Now, what exactly do I mean by tilt? When we're in here, something we could do to add more interest is to actually use keyframes to cause tilts. So what I'm actually gonna do is click the back button there, I'm gonna click on this, and what we're gonna do is zoom in a little bit further, like so, and then we're actually going to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it to the left here. There we go. And we're just gonna put it on an angle like there. Let's go up to about here. All right, so this is where we want the tilt to begin. I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll click split. I'm gonna delete this part here because I just want the video to start right here. Now, as you can see, it's crooked, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this. We're gonna click the keyframe button, which is gonna place a point here. We're gonna scroll ahead. And here, we're going to click the keyframe button again, and then we're gonna rotate it to the other side. So there we go. We are rotated. You wanna make sure to watch the corners, so that way the screen, you know, you don't want the behind it to show where it's just like, you know, a black screen. We wanna make sure it's lined up just right there. There we go. And now, since we put a keyframe there, with keyframes, it's going to affect what you've done from one point to another. So as we scroll back, 
it's going to rotate. So now when we click play, it's going to do a very cinematic rotate, which adds just another layer into your videos and causes more movement, which makes it more cinematic. Which brings us to cinematic editing tip number four is to use zoom ins. So in the same way, we got some ducks out here in the water. So I'm gonna click, we're going to click keyframe. I'm gonna scroll ahead to the end of the video right here, place another keyframe, and then we're just gonna pinch the zoom in on the ducks like so. And now when we scroll back, we're going to have a nice zoom in even though we didn't actually zoom when I was there filming this. By doing it in post, because either way it's gonna be digital zoom, whether I zoomed in on my phone or whether I zoom in in post, it doesn't matter. It's gonna have the same quality effect. So utilizing that in different scenes, it's just gonna make this scene more interesting. You're adding movement, and movement is always a good thing when you're trying to get cinematic video. Cinematic editing tip number five is to utilize transitions. Now what's awesome about CapCut is there are so many awesome transitions built in that are super cinematic. So if we just click on that line in between two clips, we can just click on that and that's gonna pull up all the different transitions. I personally really like the camera transitions because it does very blur motion type things where I could click something like this pull in, which will do a zoom in effect. You see how that looks? That was awesome. And you can actually extend the effect or shorten it down here. Thus we're gonna do something like this. And it zooms in on the flowers there. That is awesome. And there's tons of these different effects that you can go through and find different whiplashes, different you know, slide ups and slide downs. There's so many different ones in here that you can use that just instantly enhances your videos because now there is a transition from one clip to another, from one scene to the next. Now don't overuse transitions, make sure they're properly placed. You know, if you're going to a different scene or the way you have your shot frames will affect how you wanna do transitions, just don't overuse them, but definitely put some of them in there. There are some awesome ones in here and it's so easy to do. If you have not downloaded CapCut yet, the link is in the description below. Click on it and start using this awesome editing app. And be sure to check out the playlist right here of all our tutorials on CapCut so that way you can learn all the best things and start creating today. Hope to see you guys over there and thanks for watching this video.